welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to do one of the classic dishes that I used to have in my house in Peru and it's tallarines verdes or pasta with green sauce. The green sauce is like the Peruvian pesto. It has basil just as a pesto does, but it also has a lot of spinach and instead of uh, olive oil, we'll use milk and we also add a couple walnuts and crackers and of course, uh, queso fresco, which is a fresh cheese that is really easy to get in Latin America and if you live outside Latin America, then you can definitely get it at specialty shops or you can replace it for a nice firm ricotta or feta cheese. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this pasta with Peruvian pesto, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. So to start, we're going to cook a couple of garlic cloves that first I'm going to grate or you could also mince them. And we're just going to cook them to make the flavor a bit softer and not so um, notorious in our sauce afterwards. So now for the spinach and the basil. First for the basil, you need to remove the back of uh, the stalk because it's really fibrous and you will fill it in the sauce at the end if you don't remove it first. So you're going to fold the leaf towards the inside and then pull the stalk out and you'll see that it will remove the fiber all the way to the top. You also need to wash the spinach leaves really nicely because they tend to have a lot of dirt on them. For the basil leaves, you just need to pick them and that's enough. To cook these, I'm going to add olive oil to the same pan where we did uh, the garlics before and you want to have it on really high heat. And as soon as you put the leaves on there, you're going to sprinkle salt on them because that's going to make the green color stay on the leaves. Don't overcook them, just cook them for a few seconds until you see that they're all really nice and soft or else it will go dark. So this recipe is really simple. I'm just going to blend everything in here and that's it. Don't forget to adjust the level of salt after tasting it because we've already added salt to the leaves. That was my Peruvian pesto recipe, I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video, it makes me really, really happy. Please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.